It is International Men's Health Week. Today we're raising awareness about prostate cancer. Joined by Dr. Michael Cookson with OU Health. Let's uh, doc, dive right into it here, Doc. How common is prostate cancer? Thanks for having me. Yes, prostate cancer is the number one cancer in men and unfortunately the second leading cause of cancer deaths in men. So really an important uh, cancer. When you're talking about the people who may develop this, who typically do you look at when you consider to be maybe more at risk than others to, to end up developing this kind of cancer? Sure, well, it's a very common cancer. And so one in six, one in seven men will be at risk just in general from living in America, eating our lifestyle, foods that we eat, of subjecting ourselves to the environmental. But if you have a family member that has prostate cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, you're at increased risk. And if you're African-American, you're at increased risk. When you talk about people that may be more at risk here, what are some of those symptoms that they need to be watching out for? Maybe some of those red flags that they might experience that say, hey, I really gotta, gotta talk to somebody or get checked out here. Yeah, so we wanna find this before it becomes symptomatic. That's called screening. And that is your best chance to find it early and perhaps treat it before it ever goes further. If you are having symptoms, let's say it's difficulty urinating, if you're having pain in your pelvic area, blood in the urine, in advanced stages, it can spread to the bones. So we don't want that to happen. We want you to come and get checked. A simple blood test can save your life. When it comes to treatment, what are some of the options if you're diagnosed? Because even the treatments, as we kind of see all this stuff is always changing and developing, the treatments too are always finding that new leading edge, that new way to kind of get in there and try to heal things up. What are some of the options people have? Yes, so in an early situation, we may be able to simply observe your prostate and keep that uh, healthy and alive and monitor. If you need treatment, it depends on the stage of the cancer. If the cancer is localized, we have localized treatments, proton therapy, external radiation. We have HIFU and ultrasound treatment. Um, there are various end surgery, robotic surgery. So we have some minimally invasive treatments for localized disease. And then we have a whole menu of additional treatments if the cancer is unfortunately caught more advanced. And yet we can still control the cancer, suppress it and put it in remission for years. With some other things out there, when it comes to pre-screening and treatments, there is like a little bit of a stigma there for, for guys who maybe don't wanna go in there and get things checked out. Is that something that you experience? And maybe what are some of the things that you say when you hear things like that to try to convince people or remind them that it is something that's important, the earlier, the better? Yeah, absolutely. Men are stubborn, men are reluctant. They don't come forward often unless they're having, you know, a sexual dysfunction or something difficult to urinating. So we really want to get out the word to screen. In the state of Oklahoma, only about 30% of men who should receive a PSA blood test are getting those between the ages of 50 and 70. And so we really want you to get that test early. Don't be stubborn. And if you're at risk, African American, you want to start around age 45. Dr. Michael Cookson with OU Health, thank you for your time today. Thank you.